Hi everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about the book Crime on the Fens by Joy Ellis. This is a British murder mystery set in Britain, so those of us in America get to hear things, you know, from, from a British point of view as far as what they call their police officers and different things like that. It's it's the story of a police detective, Nikki, who has a lot of personal demons. And the personal demons have driven her to the point where no one is willing to work with her. In a last-ditch effort to save her career, they go ahead and bring a sergeant from another area who has his own reputation of being difficult to work with in his own way. They team them up together. The two end up hitting it off. The two end up being really, really good for each other and a, a good relationship blossoms. And you get to, throughout the book, see the changes that that relationship has on Nikki. And by changing her, it, it changes the department and the, ple- the people around her. At the same time, you have several different mysteries going on at the same time. One of them... One of them I I had a hard time buying into. There's these horrific masks that are being passed out and used in crimes. And every time someone sees the masks, the masks just horrify them. And, And maybe it's, you know, modern television, modern movies you know, with with how realistic monsters and zombies and and everything is, I have a hard time picturing a mask that will actually horrify everyone who sees it. So that part of the book I kind of struggled with. Every time everybody was like, oh, it was horrible, it gave me nightmares, my thought was, really? A mask gave you nightmares? Okay. And I thought, well, maybe this book is set at an older time, but they have and they use cell phones. So it can't be that much older of a time period. The I thought it was interesting that did not sound like they carried guns. They they seem to carry a lot of knives, even the police officers. They they don't end up using guns too often. They they go into situations where you would expect them to have a gun and to pull it out and they either don't have or don't bother pulling a pistol. So that part I thought was interesting. The The different crimes don't seem to be tied, but you, you know, just because of the style of book that it is, that somehow the crimes are going to be tied together. When they're finally tied together, at least for me, it was tied together in a way that I didn't see coming. I thought I knew what was going on, and it turned out I was wrong, which was nice. I liked that. There were also a couple of times in the stories where you expected a twist to get thrown in. Nikki is about to do something, and you're like, oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. She's going to do, and this is going to happen, and she's going to turn out to be wrong, and oh, oh, I don't know if I want to continue. And then no twist happens. Nikki turns out to be right. Or, you know, whatever it is that you're expecting to all of a sudden go bad, doesn't go bad. And it's done in such a way that it almost feels like a twist was thrown in. Because you're expecting a twist, you don't get a twist, and so it catches you by surprise. It's a very nicely written book. I definitely enjoyed it. It drew me in. And it it drew me in without... It drew me in without making me obsessed about the crimes. It drew me into the people. The people are really nicely drawn out and fleshed out. And and you end up feeling like a part of the people. And really caring about both Nikki and a lot of the B players that are in there. And I'm about to have a really loud truck going by. So I may have to pause this momentarily. Sorry, I'm at work. So... It, it, it's it's the people and the characters in the story that really draw you into the story. The narration is very nicely done. Thoroughly enjoyed the narration. 
there were some points and times in the book because it's the characters and the people that draw you in there were points and times in the books that that I got choked up and and I got emotional because I was drawn into the emotions and the feelings of the characters and everything in the book love the book I would definitely recommend this one it was an audible daily deal which is why I got it I Woo-hoo. Way to go, Audible. Keep it up with those daily deals. It's not one that I would have looked up or picked out on my own. It's actually been sitting in my library for maybe two months, and I finally was like, oh, I should listen to this one. I got it because it sounded good according to the publisher summary. I should listen to it. Anyhow, any questions, comments, or feedback, please send them my direction. If you like my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And make sure that your day has at least one really good book in it. Thank you.